A kind day to you all! I'm Kinsmark, and this is Let's Play Gondola. Another indie adventure game I came across, and this one is apparently a student project, so I'm curious to check it out, because I enjoy comparing projects like this, coming from an informed, instructed approach to the craft, against more professional products that are capable of more freeform innovation. So I, I like to see the sorts of things that uh, come out of an instructed approach to game design. I can't say I know much about the premise of this one. The, uh, the art design in the screenshot page caught my eye. Should I push that? I assume so. Alright. Ah, cool. I opened the door. Alright. Someone had a hell of a time in- oh, I'm moving. Alright. Cool. A lot has apparently happened in here. I should probably read those. Oh, man. I actually, uh, I can't stand, at, like, getting into and writing in these things, because I have a fear of heights. I'll heartily admit to that, and this sort of thing, especially if I can feel it, like, rocking and swaying, oh, it freaks me out. I'll curl up on the floor and just close my eyes until I get to the top. Alright, anyway, let's inspect, because it uh, looks like someone had to, I don't know, survive in here for a while. I guess I'll start over here. Uh... Hello, darling. In case you come back when I'm gone, no worries. I'm in the forest for a couple of hours to search for food. I'm back soon. Ben. 14th of July, 2016. Alright, I just crumpled that on up. Ah, screw that note. Babe, I'm out gathering firewood, so we'll have enough when you're back. Ben. 16th of July. I should keep track of these dates. Can I, uh... Alright, I can... Pick up and kick these around. Alright. So, let's see. Caro? Not sure if I miss you constantly, or you're not still back, but if you come back while I was gone, please wait for me. Ben. 19th of July. Uh, huh. Alright. What are you? A week has passed, and you're still not back. I've never been out that long. You've never been out that long. I don't know how long I can keep waiting for you. Where are you? To be out this long just for a birthday present is really not necessary. I'm really worried about you. I wish you're back soon. 23rd of July, 2016. So that isn't signed from the same person. So maybe that's talking about the guy that left for a little while and uh, something didn't go as planned. You know, you're making it really hard to wait for your surprise. I won't open my present until you're back. I'm waiting for you. 22nd of July. I was searching you yesterday, but it got dark, so I went home, sadly. Where are you, honey? Are you hurt? I'll go out tomorrow and keep searching. I hope you're not lost and find your way back home. Carl, I miss you every second you're gone, every minute, every hour. Uh huh. Alright, so, oh, hey, I'm actually approaching a station. Oh, I've come a long way. Alright, there's a few more notes here. Although. Um, I'm curious to see. Hang on, I'll, I'll check those in a minute. Anything uh, awaiting me up here at the destination? Whoa. Oh, alright. And come to a complete stop. Cool. I'll finish reading these first. Let's see here. Can't stop thinking about you. I think I found some tracks, but I doubt it's yours. I can't imagine what could happen to you. You should come back soon. I can't wait any longer. If you're not back until tomorrow night, I have no choice but to come and get you by force. Alright. That actually sounds a little creepy, so... Did they actually leave for the reasons they specified, or were they fleeing a clutching captor? I can't tell, actually. A storm is brewing. I hope you're safe. As soon as the weather gets better, I'll come and search for you. I thought a bear was wandering around yesterday, so I'm gonna take the gun with me. Hope I find you soon. Alright. There's that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for what I thought. I'm just so desperate and don't know what to do without you. I beg you, come back to me, my love. Please! I'm here without you, baby, and you're still on my lonely mind. Oh god, did you really just- I'm here without you, baby! Don't wanna me- Alright, anyway. There are just a few parts down here where I have not been yet, so I'm going to search for you. I wonder if that's, like, their song from their wedding. 
Because I lack for taste. Sorry! I could not find you. It's getting colder and colder, and the sun sets earlier these days. I'm so exhausted, I don't think I can keep on doing this for long. My only chance would have been the mountains, which I've been avoiding. Because I know that it's too steep and that you get easily scared. But I've been almost everywhere downhill, and though it might be unrealistic, I have to try it. It's my last hope. Jeez. So, why is all of this in here? Like, was someone living out of this? Alright, what's the one with the red stripe through it? Okay, you do not want it any other way, pretty girl. I will search in every little corner and turn and goddamn rock to find you. This was definitely the first and last time I let you go out on your own. When you come back, you won't ever be alone again. I promise that to you. Alright, creepy. Yeah, that's... That's, uh... A rather captorish attitude. So, is there anything else to... Like these cans or anything? Yeah. Uh, hey. Alright. I guess that's everything in here, so I'll continue on. Oh. Uh, Alright, uh, sir? Are you conscious? Are you unconscious? Hey, he's dead. Alright. Uh, oh, there's a gift. <laughs> Can I expect a voice for this, or should I read this? I'll read this. Hello, Ben. I'm really sorry that you have to find out this the hard way. I just couldn't tell you in person. This is going to be the last thing you'll ever hear from me. Yes, that's right. I won't come back. We did have a great time, but you're totally obsessed with me. You won't even let me take a walk away, which is totally ridiculous. I also can't stand your sudden aggressive behavior, I called it. It scares the hell out of me. What makes it worse is that I just can't not forget that moment when you hit me. Since then, it frightens me every time you touch me, and I'm always expecting you to hurt me again. I can't do this anymore. I couldn't tell you this because I was afraid that you wouldn't let me go, so I left. I'm sorry, Kara. No need for apologies! Get the hell out of there from abusive people! Because they're shite! No need to apologize when you were the one wronged. And that's it. All right. So, I suppose the question left there is... Who was the dead guy? Was that... Because I, I actually can't recognize the name Karo as coming from any one culture or another. I mean, I'm sure it does. Uh, so, I can't recognize it as... A male or female name so uh, I mean did she get away like did he catch up to her if it was a her and like she killed him in self-defense and left did he find that note and then commit suicide was Caro a guy and this was like a same-sex relationship and it's either one of them I don't know I can't tell I don't think this gave enough of an explanation of who the guy on the floor was to answer that question. So, this was an interesting short little uh, story experience. Um, from a mechanical perspective, because this is rendered on the Unity engine, if it isn't clear from just looking at it, um, I might have liked to see less of that volumetric fog that you can even see here on the main menu, is including the uh, far distant terrain, because the joy of a gondola ride, even... I can intellectually appreciate that this is the case, even if I don't emotionally feel it, if I'm in one at the time, is the ability to see for far distances. And sure, this looks really, uh, you know, crude and simplistic in terms of the assembly of its assets. Even so, though, there's still a certain appreciation for a grand vista like that. So, I might have liked to see farther up the mountain, or farther down it and out across an even simplistically rendered landscape from the high point of the gondola ride. So, I mean, aside from that, um, the, the visuals and even the mechanical aspects of it, they served the function of the intended experience um, completely adequately. Because, um, I mean, the controls consisted of just moving around with keys and then clicking on stuff to activate them, and that was it. So, um, it served its purpose. It told uh, an interesting little story that I just wish I had a little more in the way of answers for to understand the intended outcome, or maybe it's meant as an open-ended sort of thing for audience interpretation. 
I have no idea. So, check it out if you guys are interested. Maybe you can find a few things that I didn't at the link I'll include in the description of this video. Thank you all kind of for watching. I'm Kids Mark here at Let's Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and good speed.